Rick Astley is going to be on my Twitch stream today. Like the guy who sings Never Gonna Give You Up, the Rick Roll guy. This guy, but in real life, Rick Astley is joining me on my Twitch stream. I'm doing a charity stream for Red Nose Day today, and they reached out to a couple people that asked them to be special guests on my stream, including Rick Astley and Sophia Nygaard. So I'm gonna play Sims with both of them today on Twitch, but not at the same time. That would be weird. The separate segments, but oh my god, they are both going to be on my stream today. I'm telling you this now just in case you want to come in and watch, but I'll link my Twitch stream down below. I need you there for moral support, okay? I have been like the biggest fan of Rick Astley for so many years. I celebrate this man's birthday on my Twitch stream. Like I baked him a birthday cake this year on stream. I need you there for moral support. So it's linked down below. But also today I want to build a mansion in The Sims. This mansion is kind of for Rick Astley, I guess. I built this like for his segment on the stream because I'm planning on showing Rick The Sims and like teaching him how to play a little bit. And so I wanted to build like a fancy mansion for us to play in. And this is that fancy mansion. I realized that this video contains a lot of shocking things. Um, number one, Rick Ashley is gonna be on my stream. But number two, and perhaps more shocking, Lil Simsy is building a modern mansion in The Sims. This is two things we never thought would happen. The modern house and the mansion. This is very much outside of my comfort zone, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> it's not that I hate modern houses, I just kind of hate building them. I think that most of the time my issue with stuff like this is that I just don't like this kind of house in real life. Like, when I look at these big like celebrity mansions in LA, like these big glass box kind of houses. It's just not my style. Like I would never want to live in a house like this. And so I kind of tend to not build them in The Sims because I usually build things that I would more like to actually have, you know? <laughs> like I think we all do that. We kind of build things that we actually like the look of. And I just would never want to live in a house like this. I can acknowledge it's beautiful. It is stunning. The windows, amazing. The view, amazing. It's just not my style and that's okay. So I kind of avoid building it. But today we pulled out all the stops, all right? We tried to build something really fancy. It's actually a really big house too. It ends up being six bedrooms. I did furnish two of those bedrooms as like not bedrooms, but they could totally be changed into bedrooms. I made one of them a gym and one of them into an office. But again, if you needed to for your Sims, you could totally like replace the office with a bedroom or whatever. So it's a really big house. The like primary suite is downstairs. And then there's like what? Three more kids bedrooms upstairs an office upstairs and a gym downstairs. Like it's such a big house. It's got two living rooms. If you count the outside, there's kind of like another living space outdoors. So there's like three living rooms. It has a pool. It has a hot tub. It's got an outdoor kitchen. So it kind of has two kitchens with the one outside and the one inside. And also this house has a ginormous basement. You might be noticing it now as I'm building up the whole shape of the house, how it's kind of all built on the second floor. Basically this house is technically three stories, but it only looks like two because I put the entire house on a giant platform, except the platform is not actually a platform. It's actually a room. I did that because I wanted to have the house raised up a lot and I wanted to have that cool like infinity pool sort of look except I did not want to do it with platforms because you can't put pools onto platforms. You can do it with foundations but they just don't look the same like you can't really change the texture of foundations very well or like paint them or whatever so I ended up raising up the entire house onto an extra story so that whole basement space is actually like functional space. I just didn't furnish it. That basement is bigger than like the whole first and second floor combined so I was like you know what we maybe don't need this to be livable space like actually functionally in the game but I suppose if you were to download the house you could totally like add things into the basement there was a lot of jokes in my twitch chat when I built this about like oh you could put like a bowling alley down there and like, there's just so many like funky things that you could add into this house in that giant basement so if that intrigues you there is a huge huge first floor it's weird it's like a basement but also it's a first floor it's kind of confusing but you get it you can see it here on the screen I mean it's like a big giant box one thing that I really struggled with with, with this house was trying to do the landscaping and stuff. There was a lot of talk about possibly using terrain tools and platforms and like hiding things with bushes, but it was really hard for me to make it like fit in in a sort of normal way because it's so much and it's so tall. And I'm also just not very good at like landscaping modern builds. I do a lot more like cottagey type landscaping in this game. So trying to do like a cleaner, more modern look of landscaping is super out of my comfort zone. Again, that's the theme of today doing things that are out of our comfort zones like streaming with two of your favorite people on the entire planet. I feel sick when I think about it. <laughs> I've been such a huge fan of both Sophia and Rick for 
for so many years. I'm sure many of you relate. I like, I, when I think about the fact that I'm going to meet them today, but not just like meet them, like talk to them and play the Sims with them for an extended period of time, I feel like I could actually pass out. Like my heart is racing right now just thinking about it. I'm so scared. Not scared in a bad way, like it's obviously a good thing. It's just really nerve wracking, as I'm sure you can imagine. Like it's just, it's really scary. To give you a little bit of backstory on my Rick Astley, um, standing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rick Ashley, the guy who I have a cardboard cutout of in my room. It sort of started out as a joke. I've always liked the guy. Like, he's funny. We like his music. But my, like, standing of Rick sort of started out as a joke <laughs> a few years ago. I don't really remember why. But I kind of just was like, you know, a Rick Ashley stand as a meme. And then as the meme progressed, it was no longer a meme. I think as it often goes, uh, it sort of became real. <laughs> I sort of started, like, actually being obsessed with him. I went to see his concert in Boston with my mom when I was like 18. I live in Orlando, Florida, so that's not like a short trip. Like we had to fly there. I was at the front of the barricade. Here is a picture of me and Rick. <laughs> he doesn't know that I have this picture, but this is a picture of me and Rick. Then I did a stream where I celebrated his birthday on stream, February 6th, and I had like a cake with his face on it and stuff. And then I did another one the next year, and then another one the next year, <laughs> and then another one the next year. This year I did a Rick Roll baking stream. I baked a few various kinds of rolls, like cinnamon rolls. I baked a Swiss roll, like one of those cakes that you roll up, you know, and then when you slice it, it looks like a swirl. Yeah, um, so it's, it's sort of become like a whole thing. Frankly, I'm quite concerned about how much he knows about that because um, I, I'm worried about what he will think of me when he, when he learns this. I'm pretty sure that when the team at Red Nose Day, like, reached out to him to ask if he wanted to do the stream, I'm pretty sure they told him, like, told his team at least, but I don't know how much Rick himself knows. <laughs> so, the guy's probably scared of me at this point, but I, I'm, it's, I'm, he's so cool! That's the whole thing. Anyway, I'm probably gonna tell him about it today, so wish me luck. And I'm gonna have this cardboard cut out in the background. <laughs> he's gonna be like, oh, who's that? That's you. That's you, Rick. Um, thank you for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a Zoom call as well. He's not gonna be like in my house, don't worry. It's in a Zoom call, uh, but he's gonna be on camera and I'll have like his camera on my stream. Oh my God, I'm serious. When I think about this, I feel sick to my stomach because I'm so scared. <laughs> gonna be fine. Everything's fine. I think I'll probably make a YouTube video about it. Like, I'll probably, like, cut down the stream into a YouTube video. Tell me in the comments, actually, if you want to see that. Maybe you don't care. Maybe only I care about this, but if you care, I, I can cut it down. Same thing, like, with Sophia's segment. The plan right now is to play with the Sims multiplayer mod with Sophia, and that we could, like, super easily cut down into a YouTube video. But just let me know if that's something that you actually want to see. I guess it depends if it goes well as well, because if, like, the mod breaks or something, um, well, that's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> but um, I'm probably going to try and make a video out of that too so that I can show you. I'll stop rambling at you now because you can see that the backyard is like really coming together now. I've done a lot to add in things to this big giant back patio. I think that the back of this house is like the main selling point. I mean, this is where the view is, right? You can see like the whole city of Del Sol Valley from up here. It is stunning. And so I wanted to like really take advantage of that. I wanted that beautiful infinity pool. I wanted to have like the outdoor dining space, the outdoor kitchen with the bar. There's a couple different like seating areas. One of them is like sunken a little bit and I did that on purpose and I also put down like the couch facing not towards the view which is kind of backwards but in my mind this is like kind of maybe too extreme to be thinking about these details but in my mind I was like this is the selfie couch. Like if you were to come here and visit this house you'd sit on this couch and take a picture because then behind you is the view. <laughs> <laughs> you can like pose on the couch for photos. Again, it's The Sims. That does not matter at all in any way, shape, or form. But here we are. <laughs> I put thought into that. Now you can see we're kind of doing the start of the interior of the house though. And I will say I cut out me doing the floor plan because it took me an embarrassingly long time. But I think it turned out pretty well. Once I zoom out with the camera, you'll be able to see a little bit better. But basically when you first walk into the house, there's like big TV living room. And then it kind of goes open floor plan, all one room, but it kind of flows into the kitchen. And then from there it flows into the dining room. And then to the left of that space, there's like a little nook where we have a second living room with a fireplace. And all of these things are in front of like the most giant windows. They've got beautiful views from them. I feel like this is the kind of house they would sell on Selling Sunset. <laughs> that like horrible Netflix show about the real estate agents. This kind of house they would sell on Selling Sunset. And it's like $20 million in, in LA because of course it is. In The Sims, I think it's like 180 or something. I'd have to check again once we finish the video. But in The Sims, it is not $20 million. It isn't actually that expensive. 
I did think about making it that expensive. Like I kind of considered, oh, maybe I'll put like the $13,000 fridge, but I decided that I would rather it be a little bit more playable than that because I guess this house isn't like completely unattainable for your Sims. If you've got like a legacy family you're playing in, you could probably actually use this house. And I don't really use money cheats for those Sims. Like I, I kind of just try and actually build them and my Sims could probably afford this soon. So I feel like I, I didn't want to put like, you know, five, 10,000 simoleon computers in here. <laughs> it's slightly attainable, but still really fancy. It's got like the second most expensive fridge. I think my favorite part of the downstairs is this dining room. I love that like huge corner window and how you can see like above the patio down to that view outside. I always like get excited about views in The Sims from like my Sims interior windows. And it's such a shame because that just isn't a thing in game. Like your Sims just don't care about that. I don't know how they would incorporate that. So I'm not like complaining. I'm just sad that you could have a lot like this and your Sims just don't care. Like the, <laughs> the lot value I think is slightly more expensive than like one of the base game lots, but even then it isn't like that much more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so cool. It's such a nice place. Oh, oh, speaking of which, this lot is built on Judith Ward's lot. So you might have noticed this because it kind of like shifted. We switched lots in the middle of the video, but I started out by bulldozing the Bailey Moon family's house and building it there. But then the house was like a little bit too wide. It like didn't fit perfectly. I wanted a little bit more space. So I switched it to this lot, Judith Ward's house. So you know that really horrible, ugly, like long house that looks like a face in Del Sol Valley where Judy lives? Yeah. Yeah, I bulldozed that and I, I put this there instead. <laughs> so if you wanted to like, you know, picture in your mind on the map where it is, it's it's replacing Judy's house. So the interior of this house kind of has like a blue and white and like warm toned wood color scheme, which is sort of similar to the outside of the house. We have like some wood accents, some like blue stone accents, and also a lot of white like stucco on the outside. So I kind of tried to incorporate that in here. I know you're gonna make the joke, so I'm gonna say it first. Ha ha, blue suburban, little Simsy can't not build blue things. It's just that so many of the items in this game have good blue swatches. Like, I understand that all of my houses are kind of blue, but look at how nice the blue looks. There's just so many good blue things in this game and they all work together so well. Blame the Sims team, not me. If they started making different swatches, for example, if I could get some more greens, perhaps, maybe I'd be a green suburban girly, but for now, blue. Anyway, this area over here in the corner is like the second living room by the fireplace, like the more formal seating area, because of course you need two when you're living in a house like this. <laughs> and then you can see next to it, there's kind of a hallway and that hallway has the primary bedroom and also the gym in it because again, of course you need to. And you know what? This downstairs primary bedroom is kind of an interesting thing because I've been talking in my stream about this because obviously I live in Florida, right? So that's kind of my frame of reference for real life houses. But around here, when there's like new builds or like fancy homes, a lot of times a really big selling point is to have like a sort of separate primary suite. They'll often have like in a one story house, the like main bedroom on the left side and all the other bedrooms on the right side, like kind of separated and far away. Or in this case, like the main bedroom downstairs and then all the rest of the bedrooms upstairs. That's how my new house is too. Like the main bedroom is downstairs and the other ones are upstairs. That's not super common everywhere though. And also a lot of people when they're like house hunting and stuff, they don't necessarily want that. Like if you're a parent, maybe you want your room to be next to your kid's room so that you can like have easy access to them and stuff. But it's like fancy <laughs> to have a separate primary suite. I don't know. It's just kind of interesting to think about like the different norms in different places and like what is deemed fancy in one place versus another one. I guess when you're talking about like fancy primary suites. The one that I built in this house doesn't really count. <laughs> it's not really the same thing. I probably could have like removed the gym and had that whole area become like some walk-in closets and like a living room or something. We could have made that whole corner of the house be like the primary suite, but I decided to have it be a second bedroom instead. I guess bedroom, but I made it into a gym. Because in real life, this house would absolutely have like a bathroom twice the size. It would have two giant closets with like built-ins everywhere. Maybe even a separate living space in the room, like private for the, the people who own the house. I won't lie, I've never liked that. Like when people have those, I guess when I say this, I'm talking about like people in the TV shows <laughs> and like the people on the Zillow listings for the million dollar mansions. But when I see houses that have like giant, giant bedrooms that have space for like a living area in the room, I don't like it. Like I'd rather have a smaller, like cozier bedroom than like a ginormous room with like two separate
separate spaces in one room. I just, I don't like the look of that. I mean absolutely no harm when I say this, but Rosanna Pancino's bedroom is like this. <laughs> And that's what comes to mind when I think about it. I watched her house tour video. She's a YouTuber. She makes like cooking videos and stuff, but I watched her house tour video and she has like a really long bedroom. And so they've got like the bed in one half. Picture like if this room was hers, there'd be like another room in front of it, but it's all one room. And they've got like a proper living room set up with like a TV and a fireplace. Maybe it's not a fireplace, I forget, but it's got like a proper like multiple couch living room set up all in her bedroom. And to me, it seems so not fun. Like it, it looks way too, big. I would way rather have like a smaller, cozier room like this one. Honestly, I love the color scheme of that bedroom. I think it looks so good. If I were to live in a Sims house, I might want that bedroom. I won't lie. Also, this office that I'm about to do, I put this like beautiful glass desk facing out towards the view and it looks so good. This is like dream office kind of stuff. Look, like I said, I don't love this style of house. However, <laughs> I can get behind this office. The windows in here are so cool. Oh my god, I'm really Realizing that one of the rooms cut out, I must have not recorded it properly. <laughs> but there's a pink bedroom next to this room of furnishing now. There ends up being three kids' rooms in this house. I picture like the pink room is maybe a teen's room because it's got a double bed. That's kind of my like classification when I'm making Sims houses. I don't know why, but I'm like, teens get double bed, kids get single bed. And maybe it's because it's it's kind of one of the only things you can actually do to like differentiate between them. Like your Sims don't actually really grow up and change that much. <laughs> <laughs> but when you give them like maybe a, a more like adult seeming room, it's like a good separation. You can kind of pretend that there's more transition in their life happening. I don't know. But anyway, the pink room, I think of being a teen's room. And then this like yellow and blue room is a kid's room. And there's also another kid's room that's next to it. This house has two bathrooms upstairs. There's one like down the hall kind of by the office. And then one in between the two kid's rooms, they've got like a shared Jack and Jill kind of bathroom set up. I built this house when I was live streaming and there were some really strong opinions about that blue polka dot rug. People like either loved it or hated it. People were like begging me to change the rug and I actually quite liked it. I've never used that swatch before I don't think in like any Sims house ever. So I was kind of looking for an excuse to use it and I sort of liked the like blue, pink, and yellow color scheme in here. I will acknowledge that this room maybe doesn't match the rest of the house that well. <laughs> it's kind of like a totally different vibe but this is the thing, right? In real life, imagine if you were like, sorry child, you can't have a cutesy rug because it doesn't match the vibes of the house. <laughs> like, that would be horrible. So I don't really care. Like, it's fine if the kids room has like a different look to it because it's a kids room. I had yellow walls as a child and my parents did not have yellow walls in the rest of the house. So <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, the kid ends up having like a little corner for toys in this room. They've got a desk. They've got a small dresser. If I lived here in this house, I'd, I'd probably actually end up picking this bedroom. I'd be torn between this one and also the parents room downstairs, but I like both of the color schemes a lot just for different reasons. They're both cute cute, but in, in very different ways. <laughs> We're actually getting pretty close to the end of this build video now. We have just one more room to furnish. We've got just one kid's room last left. In this one, I based the entire room off of that one rug from Dream Home Decorator. That rug with like the little, I don't know, are they supposed to be flowers maybe? That rug with the cute colors, you can see it. That is like one of my favorite rugs in the entire game and in that swatch specifically. And so I kind of based this entire room off that rug and that color scheme. It's just so good. Like it actually looks so good. I want that rug in real life. Like if I could have that rug in my office, that is the dream. That is the vibes. <laughs> like, I want that really bad. If anybody's got any, like, you know, sources for things that look similar, let me know, because I would buy it. But this kid has their bed. They've got, like, a little desk space. They've also got a dresser. One thing about this house is that I did not put a dresser in the main bedroom. <laughs> it just had, like, that wall, like, the corner of all those windows, and I didn't want to cover the windows of the dresser, so I just didn't put one in. I realize maybe that's impractical, but it's The Sims, and they don't even have clothes, really. So they don't need a dresser. It's fine. But I just, I didn't want to block the windows. It j they all looked so good. I didn't want to ruin it. <laughs> and I guess in real life, if you had that room, you'd probably have a walk-in closet anyway. We just don't have that in The Sims either. Because again, it's The Sims and they don't need it. But that, my friends, is the house pretty much complete. I'm actually really, really proud of this one. Again, super out of my comfort zone, but I think it turned out really cute. I'm learning it in my game right now so I can give you like an actual proper tour of the house. I built it over here in Del Sol Valley. I realized that it's like right behind my face but right here in Del Sol Valley. I started out here and then I was like, it's too small. <laughs> and then I switched to this lot instead. This is what I mean by that completely empty basement, by the way. Just ignore it. 
just ignore it. This is the finished product of the house. <laughs> I think it turned out really well. A couple details that I like a lot are these little like wooden slats in the front. And I also love this like staircase up to the front. I think it looks so cool. I had a hard time with landscaping and like figuring out what to add. So I ended up using a lot of these like really properly manicured bushes and this kind of fancy tree. I'm not sure if it looks that good, but I didn't really know what else to do, so I did that. I don't know. I also liked using some of these like curved platforms to sort of soften all of the angles in the rest of the house, but you don't care about that. Let's look at the back instead, because the back is way more fun. <laughs> the back is the cool part. So we've got a back door right here, and it leads you kind of out into the pool area. There's like some big lounge chairs with these umbrellas. Over here, there's a little hot tub, and imagine you're sitting in this hot tub. Look at the view. You could sit like right here and just stare out. Oh my god, <laughs> that is the dream. Down these steps, there's another little couch. This in my mind is the selfie couch. Here's where you would sit and you'd get a photo taken of you, like facing out that way. Over on this side, there's like a little outdoor kitchen set up with a bar. We also have this big dining table. And then when you come inside the house, this is the front door. So you walk in right here. To the right, there's that like big TV room space. And you kind of continue on into the house. We have this huge kitchen. And then right from there is the big dining room. I love this part especially. This is my favorite view in the whole space. Over to the left, we've got a second living room. So overall, this is a very open floor plan. It really flows. I feel like you'd see it on HGTV. <laughs> and then down this hallway, we've got that main bedroom. They've got an ensuite bathroom and there's also a gym right here. One kind of weird thing about this house is that the only downstairs bathroom is off the gym. I kind of probably should have put the door like right here, but I just didn't like how it looked on the wall. I, I didn't love that. And so I, I didn't put it there. I put put it off the gym instead. So if you've got guests, they either have to go upstairs or through the gym to go to the bathroom. Not ideal, maybe a failure on my part. And then upstairs, we've got this like big hallway and also huge open landing, like open to the downstairs. I probably could have added an extra bedroom in here, but I really liked the open landing. I thought it looked kind of cool. So I kept it like this. But if you needed to renovate the house, you could totally put in like a wall there and then have like this space be another bedroom. This is the office. Look at the lighting. <laughs> But look at this view from the desk. Maybe this is the best part of the whole house. They have like a little seating area and stuff in here too. I also put in the like element collection. I never ever put that in my builds ever, but it kind of matched the color scheme a little. So I used it. And then over this way, we've got two more kids bedrooms. They have a shared bathroom between them. And then we have that final teens room. I loved the color scheme in here with like that hot pink. I think it looked really cool. And that's the whole house. Again, not very much inspired on the interior by Rick Astley, but it'll work for our needs today. I'm gonna link my Twitch channel down below if you want to pop into the stream today. I'm serious. I need the moral support today. Wish me luck. Oh my god. Okay. And with that being said, I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I am absolutely terrified. Like actually shaking. I am so scared. <laughs>